go. This is Deontay DeBron from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow from Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. All right, man, so I got more intel on the tank fight, so I'm just going to put this video before the original video I cut earlier. So, for the most part, shout out to Barbara Choi. She uh, hit me up and said that, uh, you know, tank is going to take a tune-up January 7th. I believe he put that on Twitter, all right? Uh, and Ryan expected to take a tune-up, and they expected to meet in April. Uh, you know, maybe April, May, or whatever. Apparently, I heard Canelo Alvarez taking a tune-up in, in, in May and coming back in September and fight Dimitri Bivol. Okay, so, um, but like I said before, then again, I don't have no faith that fight gonna happen. People say, oh, it's done, and we're gonna see it. These niggas making fights that they have a year and a half out. Fuck y'all need a tune-up for. You know what I'm saying? Y'all been negotiating all this time, and who knows what y'all act like Tank ain't about to go to jail, or could go to jail. That's the crazy shit about it. Y'all act like Ryan ain't the pullout king. Fuck y'all need tune-ups, fuck. Y'all fight once a year anyway. That don't make no sense. It's Ryan Garcia, that whole career has been tune-ups. They gonna say, well, they need time to build the fight up and all that. Bro, I wouldn't hold my breath if that fight was happening. I wouldn't. I wouldn't hold my breath. People, yo, yeah, it's just happening. It's going down and it means nothing. If anything, that's about to be the turning point of boxing going in the fucking shitter. And you will see what I mean, and you know when you see my other video comments from now. But yeah, they taking a tune up, and they coming back in the middle of next year. I'm like, man, sounds like some time foolery to me, bro. Sounds like some time foolery to me. Apparently, Tank is gonna tune up against Edwin De La Santos, the dude who beat Rayo. And I, I mean, or he can be uh, tuning up against Hector Garcia. So I assume that Hector or you know Edwin De La Santos is moving up. Man, stop back there growling. Mason is just ugh. Mason. Leave, leave her alone. I got many in the car too. They had a better point. They hit me two, two times last month. I spent a few hundred already. Then. They about to hand me again. Finally get their rabies shot, so it is what it is. Um many ain't scared of him though. <laughs> uh, so so yeah, so apparently they gon' they gonna do the tune up thing and then me me, I wouldn't hold my breath. I don't trust Tank, I don't trust I really don't trust Ryan. This just sound like a whole bunch of crock of bull crap. Well, yeah, we gonna go around the corner, you know, hit this lick, come back, get this 40, get this, get this, get this, get five o'clock, hit, man. I'm trusting niggas as far as I can throw them. It sound like a scam to stay off niggas' back. Y'all did all that negotiating, talking to make a fight in April, in April or May, whatever they talking about. Welcome to fucking boxing, bro. Are oh, we gonna do a tune-up first, then we're gonna have the biggest fight of the year. And, and all this, I'm just like, all right, bro. Sound like some janky promoter stuff. Come on. Come on. What you blowing a horn for? I ain't turning. She's a red light. Good Mason. I ain't fighting over them bones in the back. But uh, that's what it sound like to me. Yeah, yeah, we're going to tune up and then we're going to get the fans what they want to see and, and all that. I'm like, man. We got a deal. We're going to show it on Showtime in the zone. You know, we got a deal and, you know, now we're going to get it done and stuff of that nature. And I'm just looking like, bro. Boxing can never. Boxing is just going to be complicated and complex until it's on its bare knuckles, bro. It's on the bone of their knuckles. No skin, no nothing else. This is gonna be on bone. It's gonna be on pure bone, bro. And they ain't gonna be happy to this sport. On this sport is on life support, and that's what it's on. Cause they complicate everything. Everything is a complication.
everything. Like, dog, just go ahead and fight then. Oh, no, we're going to make it happen in April. Can you trust Ryan Garcia? And they must know something that we don't know about tank trial. They probably put some zeros up in, up in, up in that thing for old girl to change her mind. So, it is what it is, man. Um, they gonna make sure they in there with, with people that can't beat neither one of them, neither. Them niggas not gonna be able to punch, box, or nothing. I ain't seen, they, I ain't supporting the shit they got going on. I said that, I don't care. Belts don't matter, your fights don't matter. So, let me know what y'all think, man, peace. Next video gonna start. Alright, apparently Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia announced they fight. He says it's a done deal as they got over the fat final hurdles. Um I was hearing it's gonna be January 7th. Uh, apparently it's gonna be in Las Vegas. Uh, so good for them. Like I said, I can give I don't really care about the fight. Um so I don't really care, you know, to me, I mean January. I mean, if it's January 7th still, it might not be. You cutting it close. You're cutting it real close. I mean, shit, it's beyond close. That's wrong. That's almost fucking a month out. So, it might be a later date. Um, but uh, let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance of notifications. We go live or drop a video. So, um... You know, shit, good ain't good for them. Um, you know, good for them to get it done. You know, a lot of people saying, well, this means no Crawford and Spence. And it was never any Crawford and Spence. It was never going to be Crawford and Spence. They were never going to put Crawford and Spence on November tank and Ryan Garcia on the note December. It was never going to put Ryan and Tank on in January and Crawford and Spence on in February. That was never the plan. The plan was never to fuck with Terrence Crawford. That's the plan. The plan was never to do so. The plan, people get to talk about that. The plan was to get the lineal belt off Pacquiao. They're going to put the lineal WB belt up for, Pac for the Pacquiao Spence fight. Get the lineal belt. Say, well, I'm actually undisputed in the three belt era. Plus, I got the lineal I don't need Terrence Crawford. Move on. That was always the plan. It had nothing to do with Bob Arum and plenty of but about you know them fearing Terrence Crawford. That's what it's about. So it was it was he wasn't gonna get Crawford, Tank, and Ryan and Crawford and Spence and you know in consecutive months. And you're not gonna get it. And you're not you're probably not gonna get it in general. You're gonna get Ryan and Tank, and that's if Ryan make it to the ring. I mean Tank Davis could be he, he facing a trial. Which is no plea deal is on the table because the victim, you know, didn't, you know, didn't approve to the plea deal. So people sleeping on the fact that he hit, you know, he ran, you know, he, he hit, he hit and fled, allegedly hit and fled another car and a girl was pregnant. So, I mean, maybe they just, you know, maybe they worked out another plea deal. I don't know. But honestly, and maybe why wow, that's that fight so quickly turned around in January 7th, but I don't really have no feelings for the fight. Um, you know, it sent the wrong message. No belts on the line. Both guys avoided fighting the best. They do big numbers. Then everybody going to trend on doing what they going to do. That's why I don't fuck with the fight. That's why I won't buy the fight. That's why I don't wouldn't be in attendance in the fight. It's as simple as that. Send the wrong fucking message. Neither one of them is the best in any way class they ever competed at. They don't want to fight the best. They say belts don't matter. Well, guess what? That's not what I'm about in boxing. I'm about real boxing, not IG model. And uh, IG model and Tank Davis, I know what's going to happen. And people, like, they always do. They over, they always overcomplicate shit in boxing. You know, oh, he could do this, or this can happen, or that can happen. Or, you know, he can do this, that, and the third, and they start overthinking shit. You know, if Javante Davis lose to Ryan Garcia, it's, uh, good luck going back to Baltimore. You know, they shouldn't even let that dude in the city, the metro city limits. Good luck. Good luck going back to Baltimore, buddy. I would let I would let him I would let him back in. You could lose to anybody else. You can't lose to him. You know? And Ryan Garcia seemed like he's standing his ground for Javante Davis. I mean he the same dude that said he wanted to retire by 25. So shit, to me it's all adding up. But when it comes to fighting Devin Haney, when it comes to fight Secure Stevenson, it's criticism from both sides, but no actions. I'm not fucking with them niggas, dude. Sorry. 
they want to call it a super fight, so be it. I don't really care. I'm not going to continue to support the habit of boxing and tomfoolery. As simple as that. And that's where I stand on it. From a stylistic point, is it a good fight? Absolutely. You know, they do it January 7th. Is that a good chance? Hell no, ain't a good time to do it. Why the hell you wait after holidays to do some shit when everybody done spent their money, bro? That's the wildest shit in the world. And, you know, then again, what they banking on, if Tank the A-side, then why the fuck Tank going to the West Coast? Why it can't be, you know, economically friendly on, on Take fans on the East Coast to come see him in D.C. or come see him at the Barclays, or MSG, whatever, or whatever they choose to do with that? You know, you, you see you see what I'm saying? They're going to continue to send a message that Hispanics sell, and at the end of the day, you look at it, Hispanic, Hispanics is, you know, they keep doing all the fights on the West Coast, rightfully so, because of the pandemic and the virus and all that. I get it. But they've been doing that for a long time. And boxing, they sit here and put boxing on a pedestal on the West Coast. They, they say they put it they put it high on the West Coast. They put all the fights on the West Coast. They had the biggest and the best fights going on the West Coast. Majority of them is happening in old Mexico and all that type of stuff. You don't know, the, you don't know what I mean? And I ain't got time to explain it. All, all that's happening there. And boxing died on that motherfucker because they, they refused to grow the sport. They refused to market the sport. And it's in the same position, obviously worst position, as Major League Baseball. At least, at least when you look at soccer, at least they starting to put, you know, soccer teams and, and, and ma you know, major soccer teams around around the nation in these cities and stuff. At least they growing the sport. They trying to go to sport. In boxing, how you grow the sport? Fighting, in, fighting in, in the same cities, bro. You're not growing nothing. And then your retention rate is piss poor. Like I said, they tell you, well, the best thing about fighting in Vegas, you know, the biggest fights happen in Vegas, man, they make it that way because Vegas didn't have no professional fucking teams. Now that Vegas getting the NBA team, the rumors is they getting the A's. You know, another rumor is, you know, well, they got the, the, the hockey team is doing good. Um, They got the Raiders, you know, whatever you want to say about the Raiders, but uh, now they getting professional football. They ain't give a fuck about boxing no more. Watch my, well, mark my words. All them site fees, as the new blood start kind of, you know, uh, you know, starting to take over uh, uh, Vegas, and they kids start taking over the businesses and, and and all that type of stuff, bro. They ain't gonna give a hell about boxing, bro. You got you gonna have all the major professional sports, and they gonna mess around and get a major league soccer team too. They got WNBA. They're going to get baseball. They're going to get Major League Soccer. And they're going to stop being interested in, 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 in boxing. And they're going to stop being interested in that shit. Mark my words. That's the only reason they really love, they really, you know, was the mecca or, the you know, the, the big thing of boxing. That's the only reason why. Because they didn't have professional sports. Now they got professional sports. And then you got a sport in which all the names are, are, are dying. They ain't going to have no interest in that shit. So at one point in time, you had Camacho fighting in Alaska. You know, you had people fighting in Africa. You have, you know, people fighting in the Midwest, Indianapolis, Detroit, Ohio, Philadelphia on the east. You had people going up and down across the globe fighting everywhere. How can you grow a sport fighting in the same place as you and you not even retaining uh, the audience? The retention rate is trash. And the only time they step out their scope of support when they come to that is when Caleb Plant will have a hometown fighter. Al promised these dudes hometown fights and he got to cash in. They want to know why the sport dying. It ain't, it, you know, the major thing is they're not making the best fights. But guess what? They're putting the same old puss, puss poor fights in the, in the same cities. Come on. That, put, put, give you the analogy before I finish on this. This is the analogy, right? You a local fucking rapper, dude. But you only local in, in let's say, the New York City. And that's, that's huge. If you get 10% of the New York City support, then you a multi-platinum selling rapper. But... You want to know why you ain't up for Source Awards or Grammys, whatever they doing, Image Awards. You ain't, you know, getting Maybelline or you ain't getting like, 
motherfucking Nike commercials and endorsements and movie roles, nigga, you just big in your neighborhood. You just big in your city. So how can you really branch out if, you know, people in other cities and other markets and other countries don't hear your music? It's impossible. If you're just a local legend, bro. So you, that's why, that's why quote unquote, before the internet, radio was all so important. Syndication. You need to syndicate. And when, you know, people say, well, TV can syndicate. You put everything on pay-per-view. Who going to take $70, $80, $90, $100? Matter of fact, who going to take $20, $25 to go to the movies to watch a fight or fly and go watch a fight? And you don't even know who the fuck these niggas is. Everybody only touched the, the surface of the issue when it comes to fighting the best, not fighting the best, the best, not fighting. That's that's just the that's the major issue. But you just just scratching the the surface. That's all you doing is scratching the this go this shit go deep. It go deep. It goes so deep, bro. Real talk. So, um, come on, they 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 stunting the growth of the sport on so many levels. And when you stun the growth of the sport, you're gonna stop getting the best part to even a little bit of participants you get now. The amateur level suffering due to corruption and all that. Your participation level is gonna be super duper low. It's gonna hurt the sport, it's gonna kill the sport from the beginning. Well, you know. How can I grow a sport on pay-per-view? How can I grow Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia on pay-per-view on Showtime in the zone? But don't nobody watch that shit. They fire sticking movies. Like why would show why should show why have Showtime? But nonetheless, that's why I don't care. But I do believe it's gonna be a good fight. It's gonna be action-packed. And I think Javante Davis got everything to lose and nothing to, and nothing to fucking gain. But reaching expectations. Ryan Garcia ain't got shit to lose. And Ryan Garcia get knocked out tomorrow. Ryan Garcia got, he probably make more money outside of boxing. Ryan Garcia good. He can talk around, make some TikToks, joke about it, read some movie scripts, do some hand modeling, do some IG modeling. What can Tank do? Motherfucker can't even read a fucking uh, script. It's over with for that nigga, man. It's over with. He lose to him. And Al Hammond gonna see, I told your ass. It, I did not, if he get knocked out. Now, if he lose some disputed, man, he lose that nigga in general. It's over. It's over. It's over. Shit, that's what it is. It's over. Not over. Over. Shit. His career is over. He'll never be the same fighter. But I don't expect it. He was on well, he's in Ryan Garcia hand speed. Speed is a fucking illusion sometimes, bro. Speed, all a lot of that shit that Roy Jones was doing, man, people had trouble like competing with it because they got caught up in all the smoke and mirrors and shit. And like I said, the motherfucker was talented. You know, Roy my, my, my favorite fighter, one of them next to Aaron Pryor. You know? But, you know, once you really break it down like you should break it down, you know, it ain't as bad as you think it is. You see, oh, he got all this speed and all this, that, and the third. And, dude, timing, man. With your chin fly up in the fucking air and you standing straight up and down like a broomstick. You know what I'm saying? You're not bending. You're not bending. You're not, you don't, your feet trash and all that. You know what I'm saying? Tank. All tank all I mean, all tank gotta do is just take what, what Ryan give him. That's it. Double, you know, hooks, double hooks to the body, to the head. You can break the body down. The legs gonna stop moving. You know. And then when he start moving, pin his ass on the ropes and go to town. All you gotta do is get on the inside. He don't use no consistent jab when he throw a jab. Everything he throw is uh, it's hard, and, and it, it's hard. And when you get into a real 12-round fight, you know, high-level fighter attrition, every 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 
every ounce of energy matter. Every ounce of energy matter. Come on, G. Come on, G. Every ounce of energy matter. All tank got all tank got to do is stop and be patient. It's gonna come. And he showed a lot of his fights for Rolly. He can make adjustments. He can be patient. And, it, and this ain't no different, bro. This this ain't no this ain't no different. Ryan Ryan is a little is technically better. He got power and all that, but you know, you know. So you know, you gotta take what they give. battle-tested fighter neither so you know i don't see it really missing in the action pack but you know if they get to the ring they get to the ring i don't even think the motherfuckers gonna get to the ring honestly tank fighting the case and ryan garcia the king of pull out so uh let me know what you girls and guys think thumbs up the video share the video subscribe to the channel the subscribe button it's the bell icon button hit all notifications increase the chance for notifications we go live and drop a video. Financially, you want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash app, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Um, yeah, all my information is in the, you know, in the link tree. It's the first link in the description. Peace.